Man. Bye bye. But I can talk because I'm here. Hello everyone. I know that my background looks a lot different because I'm home for good. I'm actually here for a vacation. Um, my boss let us go back to America for a winter break. So now I'm here at home. It's been two years since the pandemic um, and I really was eager to see my family. So I'm going to be spending all of winter break, which is only like five days, but that's just enough to see everyone um, and visit friends and stuff again. But yeah, it may not be too exciting because it is still COVID outside. So we ain't outside yet, but hope you enjoy this little video. So good morning, not very exciting, but I get the job of walking the dogs today because I am still operating on Korean time. So I am still up. I am a live wire and yeah everybody else in my house is asleep and so I decided I'll be the one who walks the dogs this morning. <laughs> Lucky me! Ooh, the sky is really pretty. But he doesn't care. And neither does he. Mission stage. Clear. Uh, I think I'm tired now. So we're going out shopping today. And of course we had to stop by Walmart. It's so weird being back here. Like everything looks familiar but not familiar. Also, you know, since we in America, I've seen a lot of people's faces and uh I'm not used to seeing people faces. <laughs> it's kind of freaky. I don't like it. I really don't. I came to get toys for like people back at home, like the kids, but it's kind of ransacked in here. Then again, it is after Christmas. So I guess I have to wait. We got board games though. I believe in you. Everyone, say cheese. cheese. Hey, get that ball out of <laughs> Boy. 
So after our little Walmart run, um, we just went to Target and that was it. We didn't really do much after that because it was already late. Um, but today we are going to the movies. We're finally gonna see Spider-Man no, no Way Home, right? Yeah. No Way Home. It's been out and so far I haven't seen any spoilers. So that's good. <laughs> you excited, Marian? Mm -hmm. I'm so ready. I keep hearing how good it is, so yeah. So, of course, no spoilers, but the movie was great. 10 out of 10 would see it over and over again. It was really good. I also ended up watching the other Spider-Man, the one with Andrew Garfield that nobody liked. You don't need to, but little context helps. But it was actually pretty good. So I apologize for my previous years of completely ignoring him because I was not putting up with Andrew Garfield at all. Now we're just home to take the dog out and then we'll go back out and see Christmas lights and get food. Having fun? Mm-hmm. How are you? Look at me. Huh? Look at me. <laughs> So after the nail appointment, we kind of went back home and didn't really do anything. As you can see, I'm back home in Korea, um, second home. Let me make that very clear so my mom doesn't get mad. It was a struggle getting here. So a little mini story time. So I was supposed to get back like Saturday and I, in America, you have to take a COVID test. You have to make a schedule, which is ridiculous because COVID tests are so fast and quick. They should not be like, timed appointments, I should be able to go. But I had to do it a couple days before my flight, so I did it on a Thursday. It's supposed to come one to two days, which in Korea, they don't do that. It comes the very next day in the morning, but America, it takes them a whole two days for a PCR test. Took more than two days. Couldn't get on my flight because I did not have the test results yet. Had to wait until Monday. So the whole time that I was stuck for the next four days, I didn't do anything. I was terrified to go out as you saw earlier in the video. It's not a mask mandate. People walk around and I see their faces and I know what you look like. That's disgusting, hated it. So I did not wanna go out. I stayed in my house. That was the rest of my trip. I was held hostage for four extra days. Couldn't get on plane. Panic because when we tried to finally get a flight, we had to go to the airport and pray that they can book me then and there, which thankfully they did. The most stressful situation I've ever had trying to travel. 
The first few days of the Christmas holiday was great. I had fun with my family. Um, it was really nice seeing them. Nice to see some of my friends. Did not like the end. Trying to get back home was a struggle. But as you see, I'm here, I made it. And now I'm on two week quarantine. Well, not like two weeks, like 10 days. Lots of time to pack or unpack and get my sleep schedule together because I cannot be waking up at 4 a.m. and then crashing right at 9 a.m. Like, that's not okay. Even though the video was kind of probably short um, and not that exciting, I hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw. I really had fun during the holidays and seeing my family again. Um, probably won't see them for a long time after this because America is ghetto and they don't have a lot of good protocols when it comes to COVID. So COVID America is not where I want to be. Um, so I'm really glad to be back here where everything seems to make sense. I enjoyed my time there and being with my family. So that was the important part. Anyway, see you next video.